Welcome to a CGC unboxing with comically flawed Joker M21 and yours truly, Biggie's Comics. What up? That's right, guys. You know, this is straight up impromptu. My man, comically flawed. He had a we received the package yesterday. CGC submission from the what was the last convention you went to? Uh, it's from Heroes Con. Uh, from Heroes Con, first actual CGC submission. I've That's got a, right. a ton of slab books, but I've bought them all slab. As crazy as that sounds, so yeah. uh, this is my first uh, submission, and it's uh, it's all my books but one. I had um I had a Silver Age book that because it was Silver Age and all these are modern, it's going to be shit back by itself, which is kind of a bummer. But yeah. you, you don't know the greens at all either, right? No, I haven't looked. I saw, well, yeah. so I opened the wrong side of the box and took the cardboard off. I saw one grade, but I didn't see what book it was. So. Then I quickly put the lid back on and flip the box over. <laughs> so real quick, guys, before we get started, again, if you're not watching any other live shows, go right ahead. This is just straight up a uh, CGC unboxing and a quick back issue that we're going to show. You know, back issues that me and uh, Mike are going to show. Uh, Comically Float also has some back issues real quick. Um, so you can always catch us this on the rewind. But if you want to stay and join with us, you're more than welcome, guys. So real quick, let me just go into the chat real quick. And get some shout outs. I see there's people up in there. So we got AG Surfer. What's up, brother? What's going on? We got Gorilla Grodd 05 in the house. We got Wobbles in the house. El Comic Box, Jersey's Comics and things. Oof, guys, just a quick impromptu. Taco Dan. Yeah, oh, Taco Dan. What's up? AKA Danny Wybera. It was good, yeah, man. Yeah. So, um, uh, CF, what you want to do? You want to get this unboxing, CGC submission? Yeah, we can do that. All right, so I'm going to uh, so we're present gonna... you to everybody. You're going to have the solo layout right now. Solo oh, layout. We're going to see if I can go. manage to uh, pull these out without seeing anything. All right, yeah. so I got the back of the book here. Yeah, that looks good. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to cover that. Oh, up. we saw the later already. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to be better on that one, huh? Yeah, the rookie. Just show it already. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is uh, Batman Who Laughs number, what is that, six? Uh, taking out the plastic. Come yeah, on. for real. There you go. There uh, you go. It's nice. by uh, Miss Frizen herself. So That's awesome. She, she was uh, she was super duper cool. So um, yeah, I'm stoked about that right there because um, these books uh, only some of these books got pressed. Um, some of them had to go on the fly with me and uh, didn't get pressed. So uh, yeah, so that's dope. Glad for that. Um, Nice, nine eight. Congrats, I, I, man! I so wanted to uh, have the nerve to get her to try to like sign some in paint pen, but I don't know. I was just too nervous about screwing that crap right, up. Okay, so, so how many books you have in that box coming out? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That that okay. one was nine. So nine. So All that's right. one for nine right there. Nine point eight. Right, let me see if I can do this a little better here. Look up at the sky like an idiot. <laughs> all right so hey, oh, oh hey. that's why that's why he didn't buy yours that, yeah so i was waiting because uh this book did not get pressed either this uh bought at the con so it was one of the few things i actually bought there so hey, oh, hey nice. Gracious, nice. You like it. i hear so, a little echo do you have are you watching youtube or the feed uh i'm got youtube up but it's on mute oh, okay all right <clears throat> I can kill it. I was just right. watching the chat, but I don't. It's on mute. So I don't think it's okay. It's no, yeah, if it's mute, you're fine. I just yeah. heard my echo. It's okay. So nice. So yeah, that that one I was glad to have, especially after I stood in line for. Nice. So you two for two right there. Yeah. Four hours. Yeah. I see you got it. You got it. You got it in white, right? The same. Yeah, it's in white. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Looks nice, man. So Josiah's comments and things. Thanks for joining us, Lona Spinoza. Thanks for joining us. Big Line Cat 606. The cat is here, but at work. at work. Make sure my electricity stays on, Big Line Cat, because we got allergies <laughs> yeah. all over Staten Island. <laughs> these, these, these boys are paying big bucks for the AC to work, yo. Yeah. <laughs> so can't have people suffering. All right. Let's try another one here. Look up at the sky right. like an idiot. That's two for two. Nine, eight, nine, eight. All right. What? All uh, right. Oh no. Okay, so this book, I uh, this book, I'm not expecting a whole lot because uh, after I got it signed, like I looked at it and I don't know how I missed it, but there was a big like whammo dent right in the cover, and I thought about I should have just kept it raw, but I stuck it in the bag anyway because I was whatever, wasn't thinking about it. So 
Yeah. Okay. Not too. Oh, nine point two. Right. Yeah, it's got uh, like a couple of places where the cover just got yeah. hammered a little bit down here. Black cover, gray. Yeah. It's hard to not. So I have to. I have, have to check the notes, but that is um, yeah. that one doesn't really surprise. So me. you got a quick little preview. That's our next end by Warrior Auction preview. Yeah, some of these books will definitely be up for sale, maybe. So, yeah. although I do love this cover. So. All right, shout out to Dre Boogie. Thanks for joining us. We got the art chemist in the house. What's good, guys? What up, chemist? What's up? All right, let's do another one here. So, all right, so that's two nine eights and a nine two. And a nine two. Right. Not bad. Right. Not bad so far. Not bad. All right, let's see here. All right, Captain All right. America, Ooh, Captain America Winter Soldier, signed by uh, Steve Epping mm -hmm. down there in silver. This book also went on the fly and did not get pressed. So, Ooh. nine eight, Ooh. Nine, eight. Nice. nice. Uh, complete with some Newton ring goodness right there on Cap's face. Nice. <laughs> yeah, show, the cover, show the cover again. Show the cover again. Yeah, that's kind of quick. Nice. I, I don't nice. have the other one with yeah, the uh, one with him on the Bucky, with soldier, uh, Bucky, Bucky yeah. soldier on it. I'd like to get that one, but the signature came out pretty good. He, I think he went to grab a black pen, and maybe I should have right let there, it. Yeah, but I let oh, it. the black would have been better. Yeah, yeah, I, I, instead of that silver. So, but that's all right. All right, shout out to Jig Jig's Kingdom. Thanks for joining us. So, guys, again, impromptu unboxing here and. Like I said, if you guys got other live shows that you guys watch, go ahead. Don't worry. You can watch us on the Rewind. It's just, uh, like the title says, a CGC unboxing and um, some back issues also. All right. Yeah. So Wonder okay. Woman 56. Prison also. Dope cover. I love it. I uh, can't remember if this one got pressed or not. Man. Like it, yeah. Nice, bro. That looks good. Again, I wish I had the nerve to get some of these signed with paint pen, but I just heard too many nightmare stories about not letting them dry. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Yeah. So I haven't decided which, but we'll see what. Depending on what the grades come out, there may uh, there may be a frizzing book up for sale because I've got nine eight already. nine eights. All right, shout out to Prowler671. What's up, man? I've seen you in a minute. All right, let's do. Uh, so that's what, 498? That's 498 and a 92. All right, that's five books already. So you got four more to go. All right, uh, I love this cover. So I got this off uh, Poor Man's Comics, I think, in an auction. Nice. It's the second print. Um, and this one. Had it, this one got pressed, but it had some things that I'm pretty sure weren't going to come out. So I'm guessing like a nine two or nine four. So, but we'll see. Oh, nine nice six is good. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, nine six is still good, man. Yeah, I'll take that all day long. Yeah, the signature is placed nice. Is the, yeah, looks so, real good, man. Uh, I'll have to. I, I planned poorly and I didn't get all my window bags made, but a guy at the CGC desk. Uh, had um, some of those ones that uh, BCW doesn't make them, but uh, uh, who, name another company that makes bags and boards. Ultra uh, Pro. Ultra Pro. They got these blue things that like they're like. Oh well, you know what? I have them. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah, but they don't fit in size store folios. They don't, but also no. the the edge on them yeah. comes really far in, like on the top and the yeah. bottom. So like when she got this one, you could tell she kind of wanted to sign it like down yeah. here somewhere, but because the the edges of that box came so far in. Yeah. But that's that's there to protect the edges of the book, you know. Yeah. I wish wish they were a little bit thinner. Closer, yeah. A little bit like not quite as wide. Yeah. But uh yeah, all right, I'll take that for sure. Yeah, Gorilla Grod, no, I don't have no more co I had a copy of Young Avengers the Morn. I sold it. Um right. we got before it got too hot, you know. Two left here. Or no, three left. So nine two, nine six, and the rest nine eight. Oh, oh, that's why he wasn't buying your book, bro. He got them all. I told you I had to wait <laughs> and see what they came back, and if yeah. they when they come back, we might have yeah. 
So we start. We still might not. We still. All right, might guys. So that's the second. Venom Annual number one. The that's the trade dress variant. Well, that yeah. one's gone already. Yeah. Oh, you sold it? Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see what the reveal is. Bam. Yeah, nice. Right. Bam. Bam. All right. I wasn't gonna buy yours anyway then. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So that came out pretty good. Oh, that's a sub. Yeah, that looks good. I like it with the trade dress in the bottom. Yeah, some books look better with the trade dress instead of the you know just the, the, the version. Yeah, 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 especially ones with not a lot in the background where it's like all white and stuff, yeah. or like, and it's just like it looks naked. But yeah, that one looks good with it. With it. With the yeah. So, all right, we got two more here. I don't even remember what the hell they are. <coughs> excuse, excuse me, guys. Sorry, sorry. All right, so this is another frizzing book. All right. This is the one I really wanted to get signed in like orange really nice, or whatever. But yeah. um so beauty, just stupid hot cover. Bam, yeah. nice. And this I, this book was beautiful. It didn't it, like it didn't get pressed, but it didn't really yeah. Shout out it, to Ray Jr. Thanks for joining us. He's got some Thor books. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any Thor books, man. Sorry, brother. Um, all right, and then so we got one left, which means I know what it what book it is, but not what it came out. All right, here we go. Oh, Secret Wars number Secret one. Secret Wars number one. Mike Zach. by Zach and shit somewhere. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, yeah, and John Beatty. <laughs> John yeah. Beatty. So uh, Shield, yeah. Yeah, this book was funny because I was I joked around. Their line was short on, at Friday at Heroes, and uh, I joked around with them. And they're like, "He's like, yeah, it's a good looking book." And I was like, "Yeah, man, I wanted to bring you something other than Secret Wars Eight to sign." And uh, I said the same thing to Beatty, and he was like, "Yeah, the way I look at it is, once I've signed every copy of Secret Wars Eight in existence, I can retire." <laughs> yeah, it's like you can't have those books without their signature. It goes yeah. so well with the cover. It's like part of artwork. Yeah, yeah. Those covers is like part of our work. Zach, Zach has a beautiful signature. Signature. Beatty's is. I mean, it's cool. I guess it's, it's neat. Right? Yeah, he's real neat. Yeah, it's, Beatty has it doesn't show up great on he's camera, in camera, but most it, inkers, um, they're real. Their handwriting is really neat. Yeah, it doesn't show up great on camera, but obviously it shows. Yeah, up a lot going on the cover. It's a newsstand too. Bam! Oh, oh, damn, man. nice. A nine eight is good in that book, man. Hell yeah! yeah. Damn, killing the kid. Oh, the Dorkeries. Thanks for joining us. He said the Warriors. He said the Warriors on Wednesday night. Y'all going to be like the voice on every night of the week. Now, nah, nah, we're not trying to be on every night of the week, honestly. Uh, this is a, it's it's sometimes, some weeks, we have more things to show than others. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like Meaning like like um, one week, we might have our CGC order came in. And then so it'll be a week that we have the show and the auction. And then we have CGC books to show or CGCs. Yeah. We so need they're that. random. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah we we need that for the young guys. guys. Like, yeah, we don't do, like next week we'll probably only have one stream the whole week, so we just show when we have stuff to show. That's all, you know. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. That's the lot. Uh, I got. There's one. Uh, there's Green Lantern <laughs> 18, uh, which I got signed by Joe Gila. Um, so, so you have another? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have some older books coming in, right? Just that one. Um, oh, all right. And then I've well, I've got some books that uh, some Silver right. Age that got pressed, but they haven't been sent out yet. All right, so I got um, I got some back issues I want to show too. You got some yeah. stuff to show, Mike? Yeah, I got a couple of things. Uh, you want to? You want to go ahead? You want to? Yeah, I could show them what I picked up today, Mitchell. Real quick. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I forgot it. Was, almost forgot it was a new comic. Comic book day. That's right. <laughs> Daniel said, "What's the show going to be about Thursday?" I said, "I, I don't know, Daniel. If, if you're gonna, have <laughs> you know, shut them off. Yo, just come up with something. We'll do it." <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I gotta. We gotta rest, man. We work also full. Yo, everybody here works full time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. Like, we got kids and stuff. You know, comic before he's good. He could just go home and drink. <laughs> can't. I can't. I can't, can't, man. can't it's, no not on my, it's not on my diet, brother. Well, same here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've been on the 16 by 8 fasting. Today's uh, officially week, uh, the beginning of week 8, so you guys could know. And um, I put it out there 34 pounds, man. And nice, eight brother. Weeks. That's awesome. So, that's awesome. That's an awesome job, bro. Uh, I'm not quite as far along as you. I'm on. Thanks for joining us, man. 
All right. <clears throat> I'm on week three, or I finished week three. This is week four, and I'm down 17. So nice. Congratulations, bro, man. For real. Yeah. It's good. All right. So, Mike, you know, show I got you highlighted. There you go. All right. It's from New Combo Day. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. I'm a little sick, but um, I picked up some Batman books that came out today. You know, me and my Batman. So I picked up Batman issue, what, the Batman Who Laughs issue seven. This is the final one. Yeah. Let me just grab that. Yeah. Picked that one up today. Mm -hmm. uh, nice job cover there. And then I picked up uh, the Snyder Capullo Batman Last Night on Earth. What is this, book two, I think it is? Yeah, book two. Mm hmm. And out of the two covers, I think this was the best one. Nice. So I picked that one up. Go back a little bit. Nice. A little closer. Perfect. There you go. That's on the black label, right? Yeah, that's a black label. <clears throat> I tried so hard to just get the A cover, and then they had to put the stupid Joker on the B cover, so I had to pick it up too. What the? <laughs> that last night on Earth? Yeah. I wasn't like I. I wasn't feeling the, the cover B man. The cover B was it. The Capullo's cover was was nice though. That one was yeah. good. Uh, so I picked up uh for Marvel. That was it for DC. I only picked up two books for DC. For uh, for, the, for Marvel, I picked up the Marvel Pres Com presents issue number seven. There you go. Pick that up. It's supposed to be the what? This is the full first appearance of uh Wolverine's daughter in that one or something. <clears throat> Pick that one up. Then I picked up uh, Avengers 22 uh, with the Carnage Symbiote hidden variant on top there. You see, I think this is the final issue that has that um, Carnage stuff. So. Yeah. Carnage symbiote. And then I picked up uh, my spawns because, you know, the road to 300, you know, it's coming short. So, you know, next month is 300. Yep. So I picked up nice. 299. The Trade, The Virgin. Oh damn! You went all out. Yeah, well, yeah, man. Got oh, you, yeah. man. The roast three hundred, you got to, and the, and you the get sketch. suckered into the second print of two ninety eight, though. No, I, <laughs> I picked yeah. that shit up. And then my final book for new comic book day I picked up was uh, TMNT ninety six. Uh, that's the that's the new Jenica. Yeah. Version. So nice. That's what I nice. picked up from Mattel. I Shout out to Nemo Comics. Thanks for joining us in the house. Dante the Scrub, what's up, man? I'm seeing you in a minute also. Uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Right I also got some back issues, but you can go ahead, Big. So I got some back issues. Too. All right. So just some. Um, yeah, I have back issues, guys. And I, uh, let me um hold on. All right. So let me present. Cheers, we're all right, so um, I, I have I picked up so a few only few book few books. I didn't go crazy. I don't go to crazy on the comic day no more. Um, uh, um, and I had to have some back issues that I got from eBay and some from some of the guys and stuff. But I just want to show you guys real quick. I got my second uh, sideshow piece in the mail today. Right. So I have um, the Iron Studio, Superman. Right. The movie is uh based on Christopher Reeve. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, that's awesome, you know. So, um, look for this. I'm gonna. I need the wife. My wife has to help me record these. <laughs> I'm gonna do these um unboxings because I need a camera person, you know. <laughs> um, especially when you're doing all the zooming and everything. So, um, look forward to seeing a review video on this. The 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 statue's brand new. It just released. Um, people just been getting them now. Um, between last week and this week, I uh, uh, reviews. It's not really reviews yet on YouTube. Only a few from other countries. They got theirs a little first before. Um, uh, before they, you know, released them here, so um, look forward to that. That's a big ass. That's, box. Yeah, that's nice though, man. Yeah. So I picked up. Um, oh, rated roar. What's up, man? Thank you for joining us. So they gave you the review. Um, the Marvels preview came out. Um, yeah, I picked that one up too today. Yeah. So make sure you guys pick these up always, and also make sure you pick up your um, comic shop news. I love getting these. Sometimes there's posters in them. Um, it's just great, great bathroom reading material, guys. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't know what I did with it. Did y'all get your uh, yeah, here you go. Did you get your uh, your powers of X flower seeds? No, yeah, all right. <laughs> So the only thing that was in my bags, I didn't, I didn't really go into the wall, you know, like to pick up. I just pick up what's on my pull list. 
that's it and so um issue number four of thanos i've been reading I this saw is, that direct. yeah this is straight up for a read i've been i've been reading it i've been enjoying it then you know thanos is one of my favorite characters growing up so i, I when he has solo books i get them um then um uh issue two of silver surfer black um issue one was good you know i took um mike's recommendation and i read the one i got and i like this so i picked up issue number two somehow i missed that nice. today. and i like the cover regular cover you know with i was always, always a thing fan you know ben grim so and then this one was put into my um pull uh i had a recommendation for my lcs um they told me that straight up what the x-men is gonna be about now everything x-men is gonna be in this book right here in um house okay. of yeah house effects number one um so i haven't picked up x-men book in a long time i am a big x-men fan i love the x-men and he told me that this should bring me back to the series you know mm. to forget yeah. about all that bs that have been coming out for the last um year or so that's this the one, one that came out last week right yeah this is okay. the one to like um to get on because it was one that came out today too. It was yeah. called Power of X. Power of X. Yeah, no. He said yeah. this is the one. This is the yeah. main. This is what you want. Any any yeah. um, Bronze Age X Men fan, you know, like this is Uncanny X Men fan. This is the one you want. That's that's his words. Was you it, know, and was it y'all that said that Hickman was given a lot of leeway to like just blow away the timeline and kind of do whatever the hell he wanted to? I, you know what? I don't. I don't even know. I don't know those. I don't because I don't follow. I never follow. I haven't followed anything modern on the X Men. Mm. This is the first time, so I'm going in this blind. I just took his recommendation. Nice. You know, so let's see. And then I picked up one back issue that I found on their wall there, because um, I'm always trying to complete my Jack Kirby Mister Miracle um, run. So a uh, really nice VF to near mint minus copy of uh, Mister Miracle number fourteen. Nice. Nice. You know, so it's real, really, really nice copy. You know, he puts his little grade on it right here. Um, you know, VF to near minus. He he charges for grading for people like he does it as a service. Um, but the older man LCS has been a comic enthusiast collector his entire life. You know, so um, he's and he's pretty accurate. I've bought books from him and sent them in, and they come out the grade that he's put on his little stickers. You know. Mm. So so he automatically puts the stickers on them, but he charges you for it? No, well, if you buy the book from him, it's already graded by him. But if you bring in, like, say, a bunch of back issues for him to you. grade, he'll he'll grade them for you. Gotcha, gotcha. He does a whole service. Well, he'll rebag and board your short box. He'll alphabetize it. They'll give you a data sheet of all your books that you have in there, and they'll have a grade on it. And Damn, I wish I'd had him last weekend. That, and That's if there's anything significant on it, he'll add it to his little label there. Like if it's the origin of whoever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Parents, he'll, he'll, he'll do wow, that. that's that's a pretty awesome side gig service, man. Yeah, that's the shop does that. They've been doing that for years. Um, so that's what I just picked up from my LCS today. Um, I do have a couple of more stuff to show, but I guess if you want to switch it up a little bit, you know, Adam, if you want, you got any other books? Yeah, sure. I got some books that uh, some you make. Yeah, you two have seen a couple of these, but uh. This is about the only other book that I picked up at Heroes Con. I was mostly getting signatures, but uh, I was able to snag this. Uh, Super oh, wait, hold on. Oh. Let me highlight you real quick. All right. You're all good. Go ahead. Uh, Superboy, I think it's 93. Oh, yeah. damn. You don't want that. No. <laughs> uh, so I had to pick this up because naturally because it had uh, yeah, crypto. crypto on the cover. And I'm, I'm when I can get them, I'm trying to put those runs together. Um, this book is... This book is nice. Uh, it's got a couple of creases, spine bacon crease on it, but I think it would probably grade out like a um, eight five to a nine. Mm, Maybe wow. let's go with eight five. That's good on that. That's so great. yeah, it, it present like the the only crease on it is really bad creases down down here. I don't even know if you can see it right there. I see it. Yeah, a little thing. It's not really. But uh, I see it. Yeah. But uh, other than that, the book presents uh, awesome. So, yeah, that was one yeah. I picked up. Uh, he yeah. wrote Logan Spinoza says the same thing about the X-Men. He said, yeah, Big E's, that book has me excited for X-Men again. Uh, shout out to Rated Rar. 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 Is that? Yeah, Raw R. Raw R. Yo, my, man, up, G, my man, G-Unit 206 said I'm headed to New York City in December. Any side of LCS to hit up? Yo, I recommend Royals. 
Royals yeah. winning Queens. Royals right. the one Queens, yeah. Yeah, that's a good LCS, man. That's Manny's yeah. LCS. Yeah. Nice. Go ahead. Now you're all good. Nah, you're good, brother. Yeah. Uh, I personally uh, blame Joker for these next two books, <laughs> um, just because I wasn't really familiar with them. But uh, got the Rampaging Hulk magazine number three. I'm um, sure you don't regret it. I'm sure you don't regret no, it. No, I don't, man. Um, they're so yeah, beautiful, man. They're black and white inside, but the co the painted covers are just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I picked up that and uh, the Marky Special, uh, number six there. <laughs> so uh, Ooh, I got those. Nice. And then, uh, so I found these at the shop. Well, I didn't find them at the shop, but my shop owner takes pretty good care of me and uh so anybody that knows me knows that uh probably knows that i like really like jenny prison as you can tell based on the uh the unboxing <laughs> so we were chatting the other day and we ran across this book i don't usually buy xenoscope no xenoscope but uh i found we found this uh jenny prison cover for robin hood and so when i found out about it i had to have it four times <laughs> so Damn. picked up a, i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and grab all those so uh picked up a couple copies of those and then after, other than that i just got some books off ig that i got a pretty good price on just some fillers and stuff but um some of this stuff probably to you guys with bigger shops isn't a whole lot but for me they're harder to find uh in good in nice yeah, that's even it looks like that's hard to find in our in my shop. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah. this book's you know these are all these are for the most part came out near mint, and I picked them up for for really cheap on near uh, IG. So picked up that. Um, Moon Knight. Nice. Oh, what that's number is nice that? Cover. It's number eight. That's a nice cover. Nice. Yep. Um, I picked up uh, this book, which I never seen before. Oh wow! I never seen it either. Yeah, oh, show, cool. Showcase ninety four. All oh, showcases, yeah. Yeah, I'm a I'm a sucker for these things, right? These kind of books, right here. Ah, yeah, oh, man. Indiana Jones, yeah. Indiana Jones. I need to complete my Chuck Norris run. That's the other one I need. <laughs> um, I, I grabbed another copy of this. Diggs, I know you know this book. Oh uh, yeah, six forty three. Yeah. Dope copy of signed copy of this. I tell you, it's a real cool book, right? When you have it in your hand, you're like, damn. Oh yeah. Sure. You find it in the back issue bin, you're gonna you're gonna grab it all the time for well, three bucks. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah. yeah um, and then high grade raw, it's like a twenty five dollar book. Yeah, this one's probably it's got a tick that'll or it's got a spine tick that'll press out, but it's probably like a eh, it's probably like a nine four. Mm, um, that's good. Yeah, all these were three dollars. Um, Another boom. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then I'd never owned this book. I don't know why. I could never find a nice copy of it. Oh, full of uh, fresh appearance of um anarchy. And anarchy. Yeah. Sure enough, I after all this time, I never having them. And now you got two of them. Yeah, that's happens. Sometimes they just fall on your lap. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see. Which is number one. Yeah, right. Scott Snyder. Cool. If it, I mean, these kind of independent books, <laughs> they usually peter out when they're short runs, even if they do get picked up. But you never know. Um, the cat is back. The cat is back. Uh, another Batman book for the run. It is. It's the first print. I'm pretty sure yeah. it's a nice print. Um, I opened it up and didn't see anything crazy on the Indica. Uh, the uh, Harley's little black book. Alex Ross. Yeah. yeah. The blind bags. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for the color one, but yeah, the color one's the money one. Bugger, beggars can't be choosers. Um, and then I'll constantly pick these up when I find them. Just trying to put together oh, maximum carnage, yeah. runs of maximum carnage, just to see if I can finish out several runs and then maybe keep a nice one for myself and sell the other ones or whatever. And then uh, picked up this three. Hulk 324. Yeah, if you guys don't know, that's the first appearance of the Gray Hulk, gray right? Since mm -hmm. uh, issue number six. Yes, yeah. Sir. And so, the homage is, uh, of course, Hulk number one. And I understand this is, can be a pricey book. Um, yeah, it depends on the condition. The problem with that book is that they're in such rough condition. Yeah. When you get them. Again, this one, it's got, I mean, maybe one spawn tick that would press out. 
And the corners are a little bad. I just realized I memorized all that from that book real quick. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving you all this information in that oh, book. Details. All right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But again, nice, I got man, all those nice. for three bucks uh, each, obviously, not all together. All right. That's cool. What what, do you, what else you have, uh, Mike? What I have, I got some books too. Uh, let me show you. Let me start off. Oh, wait. What happened there at the screen? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. Like yeah, we hear you, but you're uh, yeah. I don't see you. You we don't see you. I got a little spinny thing, and then you went away. I'm here. I see ya. <laughs> you're blank. I'm blank. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna come back in. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We lost. We lost Mike guys for a minute. Uh, but he'll pop back up real quick. Um. You know, oh, you know what? So that we don't uh, stay uh, stale here, let me um, let me show you uh, some of the stuff I got here. So, um, oh wait, Mike is back. There we go. Let's add him up. Bam! Oh, there you go. All right, All right there you go. Uh, All right, go ahead. You're presenting, Mike. All right, let me show you. All these books I picked up was uh from Facebook. A Facebook auctions, you know, they have the reply auctions and stuff like that. So uh, <clears throat> I picked these up for, for good price. These were throw-ins. Uh, these, these were free. 160. Avengers 160. Uh, these are free, and they have three-hole punch, man. <laughs> you see the holes in the side of here, man? These three oh, shoes. damn. Yeah, they were free, so uh, yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're throw-ins. Who cares? Exactly. So... <laughs> <laughs> You can just start a bonder for once you exactly, get exactly right. I should right put them in a binder. Ah, that's true. That'd be fun, right? And you could just read them. Uh, and then um, these were throw-ins too. Uh, Detective Comics issue five ninety eight. Nice, nice. Five ninety eight, and then it was Batman Family issue twenty. Uh, they, there you go. There you go. So I know you've got to have like a wicked tech run. Cause I've seen yeah. tech books. Like, I, 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 like how much of it do you want to put together? Like, oh my god, as, as as much as I can. I, I know I realistically I, I'm not gonna get the whole run, but uh, but you'll see, you'll see in this this little hole right here that, that I got some tech yeah, books yeah. too. Uh, here I have I bought these. This was a set that I bought from um, the Facebook auction. Oh, that's that's why you didn't buy my copy. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? My copy was in nice condition, bro. I don't know. <laughs> so these are uh, my mine of, been a nice upgrade for you. The, this is uh this yeah this is a beat up copy, but that it's one, yeah, nah, mine copy. wasn't beat up. Yeah, nah, this is a beat up copy. But you know, this is a lot. It was uh two books in this lot. Okay, and uh you know for the other book, the other book was the one I wanted. So this is just uh yeah you know whatever like but a throw in. The, yeah, exactly. So this is the book I picked up. Two Dracula thirteen. Nice. nice, and this is if I don't know. This is the origin of um Blade. Nice, yeah, and it's a it's, decent it's, copy. It's still the Adams on the cover. Yeah, it looks it looks like his art, so I'm assuming, yeah, still, yeah, because you know he did the mm -hmm. uh, issue one. Um, but you yeah, know I had in my LCS today. Speaking of Dracula, but they had um the mon Frankenstein's monster number one. Oh wow, mm. yeah, real nice, and uh, it was a a very fine copy, real nice. But he had it for sixty dollars. So these two lots right here, uh, I won it on the auction for two, for seven dollars. Seven dollars. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty good. Heck yeah, the original blade. Why not? And it's a mid grade, mid grade to high grade. So, and um, the same the same auction too was I bought these nice tech books. Yeah, I bought uh, Detective Comics issue three sixty four. Beautiful pink cover there. And, oh, nice! And yeah, man, this is a nice copy. Yeah, too. so nice quick copy. little story, guys. You could still hold the book up. Yeah. So you see the guys. You know, you know why the checkerboard banner is there, right on the DC books? Yeah, up here. Yeah. So you know why DC did that? Yeah. yeah I don't know why DC drop, did that. Drop the knowledge. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. You can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, so the reason that the all of these those old DC books have the checkerboard uh, top there is because th when the racks when they used to have the racks. Um, hold on, so because I feel like nobody could see you when I'm talking. Let me just switch it to that. So when when you know they had the racks that were in front of each other like that, 
So when you look at the top of the books, the checkerboard will stick out over the other books. So you'll be more intense to grab a DC book than a Marvel book. Ah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because some shops didn't uh, separate Marvel from DC. They just put everything alphabetically order. So DC wanted their books to stand out over the Marvel books at the time. And so the check, but that's why those, a certain era has the check, you know, a certain era of comics have the, the checkerboard. That's funny you say that because does your shop separate Marvel from DC now? No, it's alphabetical. Yeah, mine is too. Yeah. Yeah. It's alphabetical. That's a dope book though, Joker. I like that. Yeah. This is uh, the pink just pops in this, man. It's yeah, a nice it's copy awesome. too. I mean, this presents like a good, what, 75, yeah. 70 copy. So, nice. for a Silver Age tech book, you know, you can't complain. And yeah. uh, and I picked up uh, in the same auction 376. Nice, and this is a make great copy here, definitely. But nice. nonetheless, it's a tech book. And the one that, that was in this lot that I wanted was this one, Tech Detective Comics issue 375. And if y'all don't know about this, this oh book, yes, nice. This cover. is the first appearance of the Batman Batmobile 1966 in the yes. cover. 66 Batmobile, yeah. Yeah. So what number is that? 375. Nice. So that was it, and um, I have purchased some eBay, some eBay books, some more tech books. Damn. Yeah. Yo, yo, I think Mike needs to do these videos by himself. You be having like 50, 60 books. Just four, <laughs> just just four more books. Four more books. Four. I promise, man. I promise. <laughs> Here I have Detective Comics uh 339. There you go. 339. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. 339. Then I have um Detective Comics 329. Just oh, nice yeah, I there. like that cover there. Yeah. And I forgot how much I paid for these. Uh, the, those tech books from Facebook, um, I forgot. I think it was like seventeen dollars I paid for that set. Those three books. Uh, and then I have <laughs> Detective Shoot. Comics issue three twenty six. All right. Yeah, and if y'all don't know, this is uh the last appearance in Detective Comics with the Golden Age suit that he has here. Yeah. So yeah, I picked that one up. Uh, this one has like a. Like a detached and top staple there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's an old. It don't matter. I, I do yeah. what I pay for. It don't matter. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. And I picked up. Uh, shit. The last book is Detective Comics three twenty seven, and this is the first appearance nice. of the new costume nice. of Batman. So yeah, I mean yeah, this book needs some love, man. Uh, definitely is a white cover, but it, I could see a lot of things that E Rock can clean out in this book. Nice. I mean, I won't grade it. I won't slab it, but I definitely want to, you know, make it pop. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm definitely, yeah, I definitely want to click clean this though. So yeah. nice. That's what I picked up. Okay. Those are hot, man, for sure. Yeah. Can't Thank go you, wrong. Man. Thanks, so, guys. Uh, so I'm a silver age goodness. All right, let me just finish up so that we can finish this up. Show you what I picked up real quick. So I also have a, a CG, uh, not CG, a eBay unboxing, but we'll leave that one at the end. It's not a sort of key book, but it's a nice book. So um, let me just show you uh, eBay purchase real quick. So I have here, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Fantastic Four. Of, uh, you know, let me highlight, you highlight yourself. Wait, All right, so we have um, Fantastic Four Fifty Nine. Real Ooh, nice, nice black bow cover. Um, it's a BG copy, pretty decent condition. Nice look. Nice. Like definitely a book that I don't need to upgrade. Like this is it. Oh, there we go. So that uh, FF sixty. You know, gotta love them Doom covers. Mm. You know, I know you like that one, Mike. Doctor Doom. Oh yeah, that's yeah. nice. That one, bam. And then uh, from the same seller, I got two more copies. <laughs> oh, FF sixty two. Damn son. So what's that in total? What's that in total? Uh, I got five of them. <laughs> Damn. Yo, multiple Mondays, yo. You already know, yo. Yeah. yeah. I got to I gotta dig the other ones out and take a picture of all of them. Hey, you talk about man. being a comic bitch. Look at you being a comic. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So 
You know, uh, some, somebody could probably take one of those off your hands, man. Yeah, I'm going to grade all of them. You're going to grade all of them? Yeah, yeah. First appearance of Blastar, man. <laughs> all right, then. Um, these two books, he, I have bought like a five book lot from a uh, comic summer from when he did an auction or, uh, uh, earlier this month. And then the two books that I wanted from that set was this one here, The Huntress, number one. And uh, really, this one is in really nice condition, man. Um, this is the first appearance of um, what's her name, Mike? Again, I forgot that the, not Helena, the other Huntress, the second Huntress. Uh, she was on name. the TV show, she was she on, was, on Arrow. She was on Arrow. Arrow. I forgot uh, her name, bro. Yeah, uh, under like Martinelli, Martinelli, Tortinelli, Bertinelli, Bertinelli. Yeah, um, something Bertinelli, forgot her first name, but Bertinelli, yeah. Remember. She's that gangster's uh, daughter. Yes. And then this is the real main reason I wanted that um, lot is because this completes my forever people run Jack Kirby. This is issue number eight. Um, this is the only one I was missing, and it's in really nice shape. Um, I would say it's probably about a six five condition. So for you know Jack Kirby stuff, Bronze Age, <coughs> nice, hey, did, great. You you completed that forever people? Yeah, I got the whole run for the people. Yeah. Alina Bertinelli. There yeah, uh, Alina Bertinelli, yeah. And then the next two books I got from... Shout out to Lord Espinosa. Uh, King of the Golden State. Oh, her, yeah, Helena, he wrote it. Yeah, I didn't look at the chat. Yeah. Big Easy was laughing because you know I want that book. <laughs> He's right. Gorilla Grodd been trying to get one of them blast stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Shout out to King of the Golden State. Um, I bought these books from him. Well, this one was more like a throw-in. Um, but in a, so I bought uh Batman Beyond Universe number 13. Sick. So yeah, and the cover is dope. You can tell. But this is um the first appearance of Ma Phantasm in DC continuity. So it's counted as her first appearance, you know. Nice. Um so dope cover, dope character. Yeah. I gotta oh, say they got they got Batman Beyond on the cover, but they did sneak one with that badass in the background. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I didn't even, I didn't mean another copy of that one, man. Yeah, if you listen to Thorough, some of these Batman Beyond covers are real low, low print run, and they hold their value, man. You get lucky if you find them for a dollar. If you find them for a dollar, you pick them up because uh, if you look for them on eBay and stuff like that, you're not gonna find them. And then uh, this is the book I bought from him. Um, I bought another copy because uh, I sold my original one, Incredible Hulk three forty. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. It has a slight spine roll on it. Um, First that shit. It has a couple of indents in there, uh, but they're non-color breaking. So this looks like it compressed out to probably like a 9.2. Oh, wow. Maybe, nice. You know? So it's just pretty decent. I'm happy with that. The reason I sold mine, it was an 8.5. It, it was an 8.5, and then when I pressed it, it came back a 7.5. You know? Uh, yeah, it was an 8.5 PGX. That's and not then, the way that's supposed to work. Yeah. So um, I was like, ah, that's just too low. I need it at least in somewhere in the nines, you know, nine oh, nine two, and then I'll be happy with it. Um, so so this one I should get that with this one. That's you awesome. Know? And if I ever get a chance to do a McFarlane signature, this will be the book I'll have him. Yeah. Sign. All right. So the next two books, almost done. Shout out to my man E Rod two one two, fellow NY Warrior. Um, you know, we look out for each other sometimes when it comes to books and stuff he definitely takes care of me. You know what I mean? So um he knows that I'm into the whole Moon Knight thing also lately, um, and the certain covers that I just want. So he hooked me up with this one here. He got it at the flea market. Found. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, Moon Knight uh, 29. And this is like grading worthiness. The, you know what I mean? For all black cover. Um, I can't see this coming less than the 9.4, to be honest. You know, so for all black cover like that. I wish I would have had this one to get Bill Sinkovich to sign. Um, you know, when he signed the books, it's freaking sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's dope ass cover. It's nice, man. Yeah. And then um, he hooked me up with this one. Um, I, I was trying to get the whole set, very bad loss on the raft and everything, but he was able to get me a, um, a Spider Man number one, Clayton Crane, the trade dress variant. Oh, nice. I love yeah, that cover. Yeah, bro. this cover to me is fucking sick. And I know the original Carnage one is, is good, but this is to me just as good, man. 
And I think that's one of those books that looks better with the trade dress than it does with the version. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Scorpion Comics exclusive, and this is um number one sixty out of a thousand. Yep, I so got one really nice slow number. Crane to sign. So it's really cool. And then last but not least, we got a uh, um we got a uh, eBay unboxing. You know, a little unpackaging or whatever. They it's, it came all the way from um louisville kentucky you know so i, I sliced it open already they put in a bubble mailer and then um cardboard i guess it's okay you know you don't have a gemini mailer i just oh and they put tabs they put packing tape but they put tabs on it nah, you see. so yeah i put tabs too man that's that's, that's a very helpful yeah but it's a, and it's an ebay um seller so that says that shows a lot right there the Hopefully we got a. Uh, this has got to teach them how to use a fucking painter's tape instead of that packing tape. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, uh, I got the, the greatest eBay packing job the other day ever. This dude packs them like I pack them basically. It was in a Gemini, then with cardboard on like both sides, and the whole thing was with painter's tape. It's amazing. Oh well, yeah, and then he put them inside one, uh, like they're individually backing boards, and then he put it in a bigger. Um, for a bag, keep them. Um, yeah, well, he's a hometown, so I'm assuming yeah. he's a from Kentucky. Yeah, a uh, nice. And he had another board in between, <clears throat> he had a board in between, and they were facing each other, they were staggered. So, we have here, um, <coughs> Superman number 14. Bam. Ah, yeah. nice. Uh, uh, shout out to killing me. Uh, you know, uh, Joker, right? You sent you showed us this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. yes. yeah. Yes, we all went on the hunt for it. Dude, yeah, and then, dude, uh, yeah. it was funny is that we was um comically flawed. Was like, I what should we I get to sign for a jock cover? And then Mike started showing him jock covers, and we started bringing it up, and then he showed uh this one, and I was like, oh man, I said. Why the hell don't I have that book? <laughs> you know, yeah. this is the second printing of it. You know, yeah. the gray, the Joker, and the thing. And I was like, I need to get it. Then Mike said that there's a first printing, and then I found that it was this one. Mm. And I was like, oh shit! And then when I started looking them up, the books they sell for about twenty dollars a piece. Yeah, right. Like that's the average price. But then I found an eBay seller selling both of them for thirty dollars or best offer. And then um, this one has a uh, pressable defects. On it, they didn't seem color breaking. It just, you know, it just has pressable defects. So that I offered him twenty bucks, and the next morning he accepted. Nice, oh, nice. you know. So I was able to get him. Yo, these shits are dope, man. Yeah, so, that's you, dope. so you paid twenty dollars for a set, which is awesome. Joker sabotaged me, and I bought a nine eight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then what does he do? Is he goes and buys himself a copy for like two dollars. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, I yeah, because I had only the second print, right? That's how that's how we started it. I only had the second print or whatever, and I wanted the first print. So I started looking, looking, looking at IG, and I gave Biggs that one, and then uh, Comic Book yeah. that one, and then I forgot that I, I, I was in a Facebook auction, and I won that one for like $3 and shit. So, <laughs> I, you know, I won the first print. That's good. You know? <laughs> yeah, so, um, so we picked up that. I got a couple of more things coming in from um, eBay. I bought a couple of variants. Um, normally, I normally wouldn't buy, but I just got the itch. You know, you know how it is. Yeah. You know. Oh, I see the Doom um, in the chat there. What's up, Doom? Yeah. All right. Shout out to the Doom One Forty Three. Thanks for joining us. You know, but that's it, guys. This is it. Quick little sweet, like the the title says. You see, unboxing with comically flawed Joker M Twenty One and your boy Biggie's comics. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, look out for a video. We have a Iron Studio Superman. Review statue from Sideshow Swagmaster coming up soon, and that's it. Next week, we have our auction again on Tuesday. And until next time, guys, peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys. <clears throat>